Hey Geminis, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing a reading for April, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, uh, Cross Watchers. Thank you guys for your support. Please continue to like, share, subscribe, and comment. All right, so let's see what's going on for Geminis in April. What is crackalackin' here? All right, overall energies with one mystical shaman oracle, the Tree of Life. All right, so um, number 58 here, okay? Let's see what it has to say. You gave me the kiss of life. I don't know how that song, kiss of love, the Sade song. I love Sade. All right, um, let's see what is happening. This tree of life, okay. To find health and balance in your life, reflect on how you dance with your actions, your thoughts, and your feelings. If you are too much in your thinking head, or in a world of fantasies and daydreaming, connect more with your roots and physical body. If you are caught in me mechanical doing and are feeling stuck, not able to imagine a better life for yourself, open yourself to be inspired by the heavens. Let your roots and branches be aligned with your heart's longings. What nutrients do you need to add to your soil to grow strong? The seed of the oak will not grow on barren ground or without the light of the sun. What dreams do you want to awaken to create a mindful destiny? This is beautiful. I was just talking about this in the Sagittarius reading I just did about connecting to your body. I think it's a really good time right now. A lot of things are getting really quiet and we have the opportunity to go within and just really focus on this vehicle through which we're moving through life. Um, I actually love this card. I don't think I've ever pulled it in this deck, but um, I, as a Capricorn at Earth sign, I need to be rooted. And a lot of times I have that problem of kind of floating up into my thoughts and all that so um the reason why i'm bringing this up is there's a lot of visualizations you could do very easily just imagining yourself as like a tree that's very rooted to the ground in order to ground yourself and you know ground your root chakra and feel more rooted so um I think this relates to you guys because you guys can be very up in your head and this is a good way to be more in your body, okay? Do breathing exercises, visualization, look up meditations on YouTube, all right? But that's really beautiful. Okay, so we're going to go into some more energies here. I'm not going to do reversals because I'm just not feeling it today. So let's see your overall energy for April. There's a lot of butterflies in this um, in that card too. So I feel like it's about transforming. Maybe you guys want to work on your body in a transformative way, like um, weight loss, whatever, you know, it could be anything, but, um, or accepting where you're at in your weight and changing your thoughts about that, but really embracing your body here, see the butterflies. All right, so what's going on? <laughs> this is so crazy. I, I felt called to bring that up about the butterfly. And look what I just pulled for you, which could be you guys, Knight of Swords, but it's a butterfly, literally the knife going through it. But um, I can't believe that. So butterflies are all about transformation. Butterfly in the sky. I can go to, oh my God, you guys got the Empress, which is all about body care. And that's what I was talking about in, um, in the Sagittarius reading. You guys got the same card and it's all about like getting in touch with your body, you know, um, if you're a feminine watching this, especially just maybe your sacral chakra, your sexuality, pleasuring yourself, whatever it is that you get more in touch with your physical body. I feel like now is a really good time. Wow. Beautiful. And then we have six of swords here, which I just love these images because they're so like about the feminine, like embracing her body. Okay. But she's healing something could be physical uh, traumatic wounds. All right. With her body, but she's really um, even though these are swords, which is all about like mental clarity and stuff like that, she's in the water and she's like healing like, and soothing herself. So maybe taking baths, um, you know, maybe uh, just like um, doing emotional and physical healing, um, doing if you're, you know, doing some Reiki to yourself or something like that, right? But really being in tune to your body here. Aurora Garden, beginning, initiate, origin, and Knight of Swords. So some of you guys, this is interesting. Um, you guys might be very quick to want to start something right now, okay? It could be, even be like a verbal altercation because swords are all about communication. But it's a very quick moving energy. 
it might be a little bit impulsive and this is all about a beginning. So you guys might be feeling that urge here in April to initiate something, but you also could be dealing with another earth sign, a Libra, Aquarius, or another Gemini. Returning home, transition, life between lifetimes, loving, welcome. That's what the transformation is all about too with the butterfly, right? But returning home to your body, I got these two cards together. So returning home to yourself, you guys might've been on autopilot for so long, maybe doing some yoga, you know, just returning to your physical body is really important right now. Dawn Watcher, Caretaker, Guardian, Support, Six of Swords. So uh, a couple of messages here. One, you might have been neglecting yourself by being a caretaker and now is the time to work on your own healing, okay? But also this is saying maybe helping someone if you haven't been a caretaker could help you heal as well. Healing other people can heal yourself, okay? So um, whatever that is that resonates with you, okay? But um, that's the message I have there. All right, so we're going to go into your love department here, Sagittarius, and we're going to make a few piles, and I'm going to pull from the spirit of darkness and light. I have, like, all these songs in my head, and then we're going to pull, so I've got four, I only want three, um, the textured tarot, and, um, and then, uh, what was I going to, oh, the hidden truth oracle, Okay. So what is going on with your romantic dynamic, whether you're in separation, whether you're with someone, whether you're thinking about someone, whatever it is that resonates with you, okay? All right. So we've got I am not available, King of Wands. Wow, I love this. Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, spirit of masquerade, false, hidden, deceptive. Okay, so you guys could be dealing with a fire sign here who um, you have a lot of passion with, who's very charismatic, who made you feel very alive, okay? They could have stirred a lot of, like, passion within you. Um, something about this person is not genuine, though, or they weren't upfront with you. So either um, they made it seem like they were available, but they're actually not, or they're saying, I'm not available but they are. There's something kind of like deceptive here. So um, I feel like they painted themselves to be a certain way that they aren't, okay? Let's get a couple more messages from this. Mute. I feel like you guys are not communicating right now or they're not really communicating to you, but you guys go through cycles, so you, you're on and off talking again. I feel like you really like this person, but um, they're just, they're not available in some way, okay? So why are they not available? Let's pull Twin Flame Shadows. Let's get to the bottom of this. Why is this person not available? Could be you that's not available too, but I mean, it seems like they're kind of in this player energy medicating. Oh, okay. So they've got some addictions here, right? They've got some things that they're working through that they haven't, like they're grieving, maybe they're self-medicating, they're getting over a past relationship, all right? So, but I feel like this person has addictions, okay? And they use alcohol or other substances to deal with their emotions. I hide behind material things. So that's what their masquerade is. It's like you, they appear to have it all together, but this is just them hiding and the really deep down they're a mess, okay? The chariot, cancer energy. All right, so um, let's see. And this says intoxication, uninhibited, shelf, shameless, the elixir, spirit of elixir. So this person definitely has an alcohol problem or a substance problem, okay? Um, trying to think of what this chariot is in this situation. You could be dealing with a cancer, okay? But um, I feel like you really wanted to move things forward and this person is stuck because they have this addiction problem, all right? You felt like this was like your destiny. You felt like this was your person. Um, but I just don't feel like... Um, I want to get another tarot. What's with this cherry? It's not... I mean, I think it has a, it has the potential to move forward, but it's like you would have to really like push this person three of wands. Yeah. And you're just waiting. All right. That's what this is about. So it's not moving forward the way you want it to, because you're just kind of waiting here for something to happen. All right. 
I can't stop thinking about you. This is, I feel like you guys feel this way about them. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, Spirit of the Crystal Ball, Future Predictions, Divination. So I feel like actually in the future, you guys could potentially work towards something um, tangible here, okay? I feel like it's not happening now, but I feel like it can happen in the future because this is all about crystal ball and future predictions. But I feel like you guys are going to have like a new beginning with some, and it could be with an earth sign, but let's see what this, I can't stop thinking about you is about this. I feel like you could be the person that helps this person break through, but at the same time, you don't want to get into that codependent energy of like just trying to save someone. Okay. Okay. So we got fall and free will. All right. So I feel like something could start to, it seems like far away, but I feel like maybe during the fall, things could start to move forward in the way you want. This person has free will. That's what I'm saying. So you can't force them to be on any path that they're not ready to be on, but they may have like a tower moment that happens towards the fall that then they start, you know, getting their shit together here. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to pull from Twin Flame Messages Volume 2 and, um, get some final messages from this person, what they'd want to say to you, okay? What does this person want to say to Gemini? I'm trying to think of what I want to say to you. You are special to me, even though I told you what. You guys could definitely be dealing with a Sagittarius because you're getting a lot of similar messages. I'm trying to take responsibility for my actions. Please know this. So I feel like this person could have done something when they were drinking that they regret, okay? They could have said things that, um, you know, that's what their false thing is about. They could have said they didn't care about you or, um, you know, that you didn't mean anything to them, but you're special to me even though I told you otherwise. And I'm trying to think of what I want to say. I feel like they want to come forward with an apology, but they also know they're still drinking. They're still active in their addiction and they're not going to stop. So they're knowing that like it wouldn't necessarily change their behavior. Okay. So that's the message I have for you, Gemini. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.